What's up guys, Sensei here, and I'm back with another video, and yes, I did have a secret weapon to my fight, and I'm going to reveal it to you right now. You may be wondering, when you watch Dad's video, or a Dad's vlog, who is the guy taping my hands? The sensei's getting his hands warmed up right now. He's about to get them wrapped. We're waiting. He's going on like an hour. Well, he wasn't just a re any regular guy, and he wasn't just a regular martial arts guy. He is a living, absolute legend. So really quick, I'm going to explain to you who this guy is, and this way you can really realize the extra confidence that he really gave me. All right, so I literally can't go over all the stuff he's accomplished and all the knowledge that he has because it would take me literally the rest of my life. Literally, he has 40 years of experience of training. So he's like a master of like eight different arts. I'm not going to go into all of them. I'm going to go into the three most important ones or maybe four, okay? Number one, he is a student of Dan Inosanto from the Inosanto Academy, which is a JKD Bruce Lee's martial art. He actually was invited to go live with Dan Inosanto um, and train at the Inosanto Academy. So he went and trained there. Now Dan Inosanto is Bruce Lee's like apprentice. It's his main student. He was in all his movies. They were like best friends, literally. That's insane. Guru Guy Chase was Brandon Lee's training partner for like eight years. So he like literally trained JKD from the source. Then Muay Thai, pretty much one of the main guys who's responsible for bringing Muay Thai to the United States. He was one of the first guys. He actually lived in Thailand for seven years and just like eat, sleep and breathe Muay Thai. That's why he learned how to do the hand wraps, learned how to hold pads, like he speaks the language. It's just insane. Like he went to these places and became a master by learning it from the birthplace of the art. When I have a guy like that doing my hand wraps who's like learned it from Thailand and had like these amazing life experiences, obviously it's gonna give you a lot more confidence having this guy in your corner. French Savat, most of you don't even know what French Savat is, but it's a, obviously a French kickboxing art. There's only like three people who are like from the United States who have graduated from like France's federation of like French Savat. Knowledgeable in the skill and like responsible for bringing the United States. It's like in the UFC, you like see all like these oblique kicks and like these stomp kicks. These are stuff that I, he was teaching me like, you know, six, seven years ago that he was talking about. One of his students is like a big choreographer for like Hollywood, a choreographer from Viva Vendetta and like 300. And that stomp kick like this is what up. Bam! He was like connected to that kick somehow. That's like so legendary. And the last one that truly, truly amazes me is shoot fighting or submission wrestling. Carl Gotch is like the godfather of like modern day submission wrestling. Back in the day, we had the big wrestling matches. They would take too long because these big guys can never finish each other. So they had like exhibitions and stuff like that. And that's where you got modern day like the WWE, WWF, and stuff like that. But the submission wrestling is real, obviously. Guru Guy Chase lived with him for like five years. And like, he's like one of the only people in the world, just his experience with the match, not just learning the learning the techniques, but the experience with masters, like living with them and training with them is absolutely insane. So I just had to take this moment to thank Guru Guy Chase for coming out to my, my you know, my MMA fight and doing my hand wraps. Doing that just kept my mind like so relaxed and at ease. It just gave me that quiet confidence, you know, that thing. And he was there when I was warming up with my father, he was there watching me and stuff like that. So, so a big thank you to him. Um, he was my secret weapon. That was my secret weapon. So no, I wasn't cheating guys at all. All right. I'll see you next video. All right. Oops.